Okay, Team ESPN LA is here at uh, scrimmage number three, or as Lane, Lane Kiffin calls it, preseason game number three, as he brings the uh, jargon of the NFL to the college game. But, um, you know, with about 11 days before the Hawaii game, this team's, you know, gearing up, you know, for that first game. My impressions out here were that uh, the defense is far ahead of the offense at this point, which is probably not a huge surprise, but is a little bit of a concern for Lane Kiffin and his staff at this point. There were six turnovers today at this scrimmage, and I think you know that doesn't bode well for their ball security going in, into this game, even though it may not matter against this opponent. Um, Pedro, what were your thoughts? Yeah, I agree with you a lot, Mark. I mean, ball security is something that Kiffin was emphasizing so much in the first week of fall camp. He would say, oh, I'm so happy that my quarterbacks are not throwing the ball away. I mean, not, I think there was no interceptions for literally six, seven practices. And then all of a sudden, you've got this whole I mean, four today from, I mean, obviously one of them was from third string, but two from a stain, one from Barkley. That's not what you want to see if you're Kiffin heading 11 days, I think, into the game. And the, the fumble by Mark Tyler on the goal line. I mean, it was picked up by Red Ellison for the score, but still not something you want to see from a guy who really could get some carries against Hawaii. So I'm leaning on the goal, on the goal line. And uh, I mean, you have a lot to worry about on offense if you're Kiffin right now. I think the one thing that kind of stuck out to me was the kicking situation, which has been a big question mark this whole camp. Joe Houston's won the job. He's looked consistent at times, but he misses a PAT here. He misses a short field goal there. But that could be a real problem during the season if the offense moves 67 yards and the guy shanks the field goal. Uh, he made about a 37-yarder at the end of practice today, and the team loved it because they don't have any meetings. But um, that's a little watch for this year, I think. I think if, if, if the kicking situation becomes a problem, this team needs to score touchdowns, and I don't know if they can. You want a bit of a safety net as an offense, and I don't know if Barkley has too much of that. That's what you, you can also use your kicker for that purpose. I mean, if you get inside the 20, inside the 30 even, some kickers are guaranteed, it's a guaranteed yeah. three points. I don't know if the Trojans have that right now. Yeah, I agree. We should also point out, though, that everything we're saying has a reverse side to it. If the offense you know, is stalling on drives, is turning the ball over, the flip side of that is the defense has, has been outstanding. And they're very limited because they're not tackling fully out here. Um, they've had to really scale back the contact because of transfers, uh, not having as many scholarship players as other teams, and then also some injuries. So, you know, it's good and bad, but, you know, I, I think they look fine for, for where they are. It sounds a, really, a little ridiculous to I me. Mean, Kiffin calls them preseason games, but this team has less players than it. You know, an NFL team does during the preseason. They had, I think, 54 scholarship players today, which really isn't that many when you're talking about getting second and third stringers in. So he said it was a little bit remarkable that they, I think they went 110, 111 plays with those players. I mean, every breath, every breath like he said earlier this week, you're holding your, you're holding your breath every play, just hoping that you're not going to get an injury. Yeah, and if you think preseason games are hard to watch, imagine them when you can't tackle. That's really tough to watch. So it'll be fun. I think these guys are excited about the season. They can actually tackle and play at full strength. Um, we'll just see how that transfers over because I think the big question that I had to a few of the guys, I mean, if you can't tackle in practices, how are you going to play? So only a few days away, so we'll see. Absolutely. Mixed reviews from uh, the ESPN LA guys, but uh, we'll see. We'll know soon enough.